Hi Leo, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards what awaits for you in love for the week of April 25th to May 1st, 2022. I'm going to take a look at your energy, Leo, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates with you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. All right, let's see your energy for the week. All right, let's take a look, Leo, at your energy for the week. First card we have is the Magician in Reverse, the Four of Cups, the Ace of Cups in Reverse, the Judgment card in Reverse, the Four of Wands, and the Six of Cups. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, Magician in Reverse, Four of Cups, Ace of Cups in Reverse. Judgment in Reverse, Four of Wands, Six of You're coming up in a single energy here with the Nine of Pentacles. You're coming up as a single person or embodying single energy, independent energy, isolated. It's almost like you don't like the options that you have in love. None of them are really um, to your standards. None of them are to your standards. And there's some, there's someone here who has, who has disappointed you. All right, let me take a look at your energy. It feels a little bit um, contradictory. Let me look at the Nine of Cups, um, Nine of Pentacles. Tell me about that card, Spirit. Actually, let me look at the bottom here. Chariot, Nine of Cups in reverse. What's the Nine of Pentacles? Two of Wands in reverse and the Five of Pentacles. Some of you are over it, you know, you're over something, you're over someone. Um, you feel cheated. Someone has been treating you less than what you know you deserve. Hmm. Something about money. I don't know what that has to do with anything, but somebody owes you money for some of you. Or somebody owes you. You might feel like somebody owes you. What's the uh, Four of Cups? Page of Wands in reverse. And the Nine of Swords. Oh, Leo, your, your energy is all over the place. 
it's really uh, erratic here. You're upset. You're definitely upset. And I feel like you're not managing your emotions well. Yeah, you're definitely aggravated. But there's like a denial energy and it's making it worse. Let me see. What's the magician in reverse? Two of cups in reverse and the five of swords. There it is. You're um you feel offended by someone, you feel disrespected by someone from some some sort of relationship here that you had with someone. You feel like this person took advantage of you. Maybe they used you or they used you for your money or for your status or for your stability or for whatever you could give them. You feel like this person left you out in the cold. Why is the judgment card here in reverse spirit? The Emperor and the Hierophant in reverse. Emperor and the Hierophant in reverse. This is toxic for sure. You have a you have a toxic connection with someone. I think you wanted something serious though with the Hierophant. You wanted something serious. You wanted someone to treat you like like someone serious. You wanted someone to treat you seriously. What's the four of wands, spirit? The hangman in reverse and the ace of wands in reverse. So they left you on standby. Some of you were a second option here or like the side person instead of the main person. This is what I'm getting here. What's the six of cups? The Knight of Wands and the Ace of Swords in reverse. I do feel like somebody was lying to you. Somebody was um, a two-timer also. I'm kind of getting that two-timer energy. What's the Ace of Cups in reverse? Five of Cups in reverse. And the Three of Wands in reverse. Somebody was like juggling between you and somebody else. They were trying to be with two people at the same time or they were trying to do two things at the same time. And they, um, they didn't treat you the way you deserve. They, um, they undervalued you. I'm just kind of getting an energy of you being upset, honestly. I kind of feel like you're over it. You're over, you're over it, you're over this person. You might even be over love in general. What did this person do to you, I wonder? Let's take a look at how are you viewing this person? How are you currently viewing this person, Leo? How are you currently viewing them? Okay, first card is the Six of Swords in reverse. Okay, what else? The King of Wands in reverse. The King of Cups in reverse. And the Eight of Swords. You seeing you see this person as someone who has you on a merry-go-round. I don't know what that means. You see you see this person as someone who has you on like on on a cycle on a merry-go-round. They're with you, but then they're not with you. They're in, but they're not in. Like they're giving you mixed messages or mixed energies, mixed feelings. You don't know where you stand with them. They never make it clear 
um, what the status of this relationship is between you two. All right, Leah, I'm going to get out of here because this is a mess. Let's look at your person. Let's hope, hopefully, it's not so complicated on their side. Not that you're complicated, it's just that you have a lot of, um, you have a lot of feelings. I feel like you have a lot of different feelings. Yeah. Because I can feel like your emotions, it's almost like you're you, emotional and also angry at the same time. That kind of energy. Sorry for the dogs. It also feels like you're mad at them, and it also feels like you're mad at yourself, if that makes sense. You know, I feel like you're or disappointed in them and also disappointed in yourself. Something like that. All right, spirit angels and guys, show me the energy of the person Leo is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week. Thank you, spirit. In regards to whoever you're dealing with, Leo, first card we have here is the Knight of Pentacles. Could be an Earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the Three of Wands in reverse, the Five of Wands. Oh, okay. Well, there it is. That's the conflict there. The Queen of Wands in reverse. Oh, there it is. The Page of Cups upright. And the Seven of Cups in reverse. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Swords. Yeah, there's that dramatic energy I was feeling. A lot of dramatic, chaotic, erratic, intense energy. Look at that Six of Swords in reverse and the Judgment card. Okay. Let's see. Knight of Pentacles, Three of Wands in reverse, Five of Wands, Queen of Wands, and a Page of Cups. And this definitely feels very volatile, Leo. Whoever you're dealing with feels very volatile. And look at all these mi this mixture of energy. It, it That's why you were carrying all of those different energies. This person is kind of transferring it to you. You're being influenced by them. Like they're, it's like contaminated, you know, you're, you've been contaminated by them, by their energy. Yeah. Because I do see that this is someone who is kind of controlling or possessive. And there is conflict here, a fight or an argument, a disagreement with the Five of Wands. Um, I don't know. Let's look at the Knight of Pentacles. Let me just confirm this energy. What's the Knight of Pentacles about? Nine of Swords in reverse and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. I am feeling a little bit of a sad story coming from them. I also feel a little bit of like 
someone who's trying to apologize to you, Leo. Why does it feel toxic though? Especially with the Queen of Wands in reverse. This is someone who is not serious about you, you know? Or about whatever happened to you, uh, between you two. Even about this apology, I feel like they're coming towards you with an apology that's not completely like sincere. What's the Queen of Wands in reverse? Nine of Cups and the Chariot. This is someone who kind of was very self-centered. With the Nine of Cups and the Chariot, they were really self-centered. And I feel like they're trying to justify something with the Page of Cups. They're trying to they're trying to excuse themselves or justify justify themselves. Yeah. Because they don't want to lose you. I can see they don't want to lose you. They want to recover the relationship with you. They want a second chance. What's the Five of Wands about spirit? Page of Wands. Yeah, Page of Wands. They want to clear the air. And the Eight of Cups. <clears throat> yeah, there's something about them walking away. Or a separation between you two. And they want to clear the air about it. What's the Page of Cups? The lovers. They want to be lovers again. And the Ace of Cups. Yeah. There it is. The, the lovers and the Ace of Cups. They want to be lovers again with you. What's the Three of Swords? Two of Wands. And the Five of Pentacles in reverse. They want to return back to you. But I do feel like they're giving you a sad... Like a like a sad sob story and it and it feels like again them kind of justifying themselves or trying to excuse themselves and trying to kind of get you back to be with them you didn't seem to be very uh, welcoming though in your energy you felt like you were like I said, you were upset in your energy, so I don't feel like it's, you know, a walk in the park here for this person. I don't feel like it's going to be a walk in the park. But there's a lot that's still wrong, you know, if that makes sense. Because these energies do not match together at all. So, like, underneath the surface, I feel like there's a lot that's still wrong, you know. That's still corrupted in some way, if that makes sense. All right, Leo, hopefully I made some sense to you. If I did, please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. I'm going to continue in the extended reading. I'm going to take a deeper look at... Um, what are this person's real feelings for you? What are their real intentions? And what actions will they take towards you by the end of the week? If you're interested, you can follow me there. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.